New developments in a racist outburst at a Central Texas basketball tournament. Records show the school district where students were heard shouting monkey noises at black basketball players had to address different racial discrimination allegations just months earlier. KXAN investigator Kelly Wiley reports the district changed its student code of conduct as a result. This week at Marble Falls High School, students were heard shouting monkey noises at an 18 year old black player as she stepped to the free throw line. But just months earlier, that same school district was hearing from its own parents about racial discrimination. At a January board meeting, parents stepped to the podium one after the other to share their students' experience with racism within the district. The problem is that students are being subjected to racial discrimination by the use of language that is culturally insensitive and bullied solely on the color of their skin. Parents' outcries resulted in the district holding a special meeting to address discrimination and changing the student code of conduct. My heart breaks over what I would call the general disintegration of decency in society at large. And we have to make sure that we get this generation of young people and help them understand what it means to be a good human being. In a statement to KXAN, the superintendent of Marble Falls ISD said the actions at the game against the East Central Lady Hornets was embarrassing to our community. The school board president adding, one incident does not define who we are as a community. The player at the center of the incident, senior Asia Prudhomme, says she is still in shock over what happened. I honestly don't know how to feel because I've never had this happen to me before. So I'm still in shock a little bit. But like I said, I'm glad I have the support system that I have. The district said earlier this week it was reviewing footage and interviewing students and people who were in the crowd at the time, but they said federal law prevents them from telling us how any student might be disciplined because of this incident. We also reached out to the UIL, and so far we have not heard back. Kelly Wiley, KXAN News. And while the UIL did not answer our request for an interview, a spokesperson for East Central ISD said they were told the league plans to follow up with Marble Falls ISD leaders to see how the incident was handled.